Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. Leo, this is your mid-monthly reading for May 2022. So, this is for um, May the 15th to the 31st. Um, so, Leo, please keep in mind that this reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So, this reading can manifest the second half of May. It can manifest later on down the line in time after May or um, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. Excuse me. So, Leo, I did get messages for you during the pre-shuffle and the messages that I got was, um, Leo, you, um, the second half of May... You might, it might be a breakup between you and your lover. You might experience a breakup. Um, I also picked up to Leo that um, you're either going to experience a breakup between you and the lover. Or it's your family. Leo, it could be your family that's um, interrupted in your love life. So, Leo, I don't know if your family could be uh, telling your lover lies about you. Or, Leo, your family is telling you lies about your lover or something like that. Leo, I kind of picked up, if it's family involvement, like family interference, Leo, this could have happened in the past. And, Leo, you might become aware of, like, your that your family is toxic. Your, fam your family um, keeps interfering in your love life. Or you're going to um, identify the specific family members, Leo, that's interfering in your love life. So, again, I kind of picked up this happened in the past. And, um, Leo, you're going to realize the second half of May. Which family members of yours in interfere in your love life and it results in a breakup. You're going to realize something. Or, Leo, you and the lover just might break up. You might experience a breakup the second half of May. Um, the other message that I got for you, Leo, was that um, Leo, I'm picking up that you are a divine feminine or divine masculine, but because of your persona or your energy, you're making people or you're making someone think you're a karmic. I also picked up Leo. Some type of energy you're giving off or some type of persona is attracting a karmic. So, Leo, you're making a karmic think that you're a karmic. Some Whatever you're doing, I don't know exactly what you're doing. But you're making a karmic think that they're, like you're like them. Because it's some type of persona you're giving off or some type of energy you're giving off that you are a karmic. Or, Leo, whatever type of energy or persona you're giving off, you're attracting karmics or a specific karmic. And this karmic thinks that you're like them. So, those are the messages that I picked up on during the pre-shuffle. So, Leo, I picked you guys a message, which is also your oracle for the second half of May. And your oracle is what's crowning your energy for the most part for the second half of May. I picked your um, oracle from the Sacred Destiny Oracles deck. And Leo, the card that came out for you was happiness. And Leo, when your oracle came out, I heard you're the first. That's what I heard. You're the first. You're the first. So, um, this is your oracle happiness. And that's always a good thing. Happiness. So, let me read it. So, that's good energy. So, Leo... It could be many reasons why I heard you're the first when this card came out. But I just want to say personally, Leo, I had this deck for a couple of months. This uh, this deck right here. And this is the first time that this card came out. So, it's the first time for me personally dealing with this deck that this card came out in this deck. So, um, let me read it. Is this it? You have happiness. <laughs> so it say the sacred landscape wants you to know click your heels and shout for joy the signs are with you let your light shine abounding good luck awaits you a gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness your life is expanding 
Opportunities are emerging. This is the time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. Goodness is following you. It's flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor your expansion in a metered way. Too much, too fast can be overwhelming. So this is good. This is good stuff right here, Leo. So happiness... Yep. <clears throat> so let me let me read that again. I just heard that deserves to be um, read again. So I'm going to read it again. Happiness. Okay. The sacred landscapes wants you to know, Leo. Click your heels and shout for joy. The signs are with you. Let your light shine. Abounding, abounding good luck awaits you. A gateway is opening for you. A gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness. Your life is expanding. Opportunities are emerging. This is the time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. Goodness is flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor your expansion in a, in a metered way. Too much too fast can be overwhelming. And that's good. That's good news. So... Leo, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um I'm gonna pull three cards from you for you from the um tea leaf deck. And then I'm gonna pull two, I'm gonna pull three cards for you from the tea leaf deck, and then I'm gonna pull two cards for you from the deck that I use for all things practical. And then I'm gonna get into the tarot. All right, give me three cards for Leo. The second half of May. Mm, first card out. Good fortune. All right, so this is the first card out, for the tea leaf deck with good fortune. So, Leo, this is for you. This is good fortune. This is your energy. All right, give me two more. Leo, for some of you guys, because this is my card sometimes. I, um, This could be like the Ace of Pentacles, this good fortune. This could be the Ace of Pentacles. So, Leo, for some of you guys, you guys could be given birth. You might give birth the second half of May. And that's definitely going to bring you happiness. A, a newborn baby. That will definitely fill your life with joy. A newborn baby. So some of y'all could be giving birth to a baby the second half of May. Alright. Give me two more for Leo. That's one more. One more for Leo. Let me just take that one. Alright. All right, so, oh my goodness, four-leaf clover, great good fortune. <laughs> so, Leo, you have good fortune, great good fortune, and then we have spear, heartache over what you no longer have. We're going to see what this is about. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Leo, I'm picking up, it could be a situation, it's like, Leo... You can have everything going good for you except love. Or it's like, Leo, you can have some type of good fortune or some type of great good fortune. But you don't have your lover with you. Or something like that. Heartache, I, I don't think, Leo, you're going to lose this. You're not going to lose this. You're not going to lose, lose this. Or, Leo, you could be fearful that you might lose this. Something could be too good to be true. Something might be too good to be true. So, this heartache over what you no longer have could be like a fear. It could be a fear, but we're going to see what this is about. All right. So, yeah. Heartache over what you no longer have. And it could be a person. Yeah. It's like, Leo, things are going good for you, but you could be missing somebody. And it could be a lover. Don't have to be. So, it's like you have good fortune, but you miss someone or something like that. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we had the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is unexpected success. So Leo, some of you guys might win the lottery. I'm picking that up. Y'all going to hit the lottery unexpected. And it's a good fortune, a great good fortune. But you might not have the person around that you want to share it with or something like that. And then I shuffled and then we got the star. 
Yeah. So this is positive energy as well. Leo, you might be able to heal from some type of heartache over what you... Leo, you might have to heal. I mean, you're going to be able to heal over whatever this thing that you no longer have. Um, yeah. So some type of money or fortune might heal your heart, might help you heal your heart. It might, I heard it's going to assist you in your healing. Some type of money. Or for some of y'all, it's a brand new baby. All right, so, yeah, then we got judgment. So someone's going to get a second chance. All right, so this is the deck. I'm going to pull two cards for you, Leo, from this deck right here. This, These are suggest, suggestions from spirit, um, things that you could do practical, Leo, that might make your life a little bit better or a little bit easier the second half of May. So I use this deck for things that's practical. This is a practical, you know, practical. All right, so Leo, second half of May. May the 15th to the 31st for Leo. I didn't shuffle this deck. So I'm shuffling it now for Leo. All right. Give me two cards for Leo. Okay, social media. And then give me one more for Leo. Okay, crystal healing. All right, so... What Spirit wants you to do that's practical, Leo, is social media detox. So Spirit wants you to detox from social media. No posting, no liking, just living. Don't let it take over your life. So Spirit wants you to detox from social media or do something in moderation. No posting, no liking, just living. Don't let it take over your life. So Leo, Spirit don't want you to... Allow social media to take over your life the second half of May. And then we have crystal healing. Leo, I also just heard too, if you have a brand new baby, whether you the mother or the father, Leo, don't post your newborn baby on social media. I just heard that. Do not post your newborn baby on social media. Okay, so the other thing Spirit is suggesting is crystal healing. Use crystals to raise your vibration and renew your energy. Yeah. So, Leo, the second half of May, you might have to, um, you got to raise your vibration. Leo, you could have been um, coming off as a karmic because you're pregnant or you was pregnant. So, you could have been acting very snobby. Or um, selfish or moody, bitchy, because you was pregnant. So spirit wants you to raise your vibration. Leo, it's a need for you, for your vibration to be raised. And um, it's not a coincidence that this card came out. Because I picked up during the pre-shuffle, Leo, that you're giving off some type of persona or some type of energy, Leo. And somebody thinks you're a karmic. Because, yeah... Your vibration is low. So spirit is saying use crystals to raise your vibration and renew your energy. Yeah. So that's what spirit is suggesting. Things you could do practical to make your life a little bit better or a little bit easier. Detox from social media and crystal healing. Use crystals. Spirit wants you to use crystals to raise your vibration and to renew your energy. Crystal healing. Yeah. All right, so, <clears throat> and Leo, if definitely, if you get in some type of good fortune, great good fortune, Leo, you definitely um need to raise your vibration to like, um to, you know, for this good fortune. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's going on with Leo? What can Leo expect? What do Leo need to know? What's going on with Leo second half of May? Yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles. So, Leo, you could be dealing with an Earth sign or you got Earth in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
Leo, that nine of pentacles could be you. You could be single and abundant. If you're not single, you're very abundant and you're independent. If you're not single, you're very independent. All right, so we had a Queen of Cups and a Knight of Swords. So, Leo, um, you could have water in your chart or you're dealing with a water sign or you could have air in your chart or you're dealing with an air sign. Yeah. Um The Knight of Swords, is this Leo? This Knight of Swords? No. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Leo, I think you the Queen of Cups, the second half of May. Um, the Queen of Cups is an empath. The Queen of Cups is very outgoing. And Leo, you have like an air sign. It could be an air sign. It don't have to be. Um, but Leo, somebody is accusing you of something. Somebody is assuming. I think this is the karmic that's assuming you're, you're a karmic like them, Leo. This Knight of Swords. Somebody is assuming something. And Leo, this might catch you off guard. The Knight of Swords energy might catch you, catch you off guard. Leo, the Knight of Swords is assuming something by you. Is assuming something about you. Yeah, this is in an, an, a quick assumption. So, Leo, I don't know. I just heard red lipstick. I just heard red lipstick. So, Leo, I don't know if you can have on red lipstick and the Knight of Swords is, like, automatically assuming you, like, a loose woman because you have on red lipstick. I heard a quick assumption. And, Leo, you minding your business. Yeah, Leo, for some of y'all, y'all just had a baby. And somebody's assuming something about you. Huh. Yeah, I also heard too the Knight of Swords could be like intoxicated as well. So that could be the reason why this person made a quick assumption because they're intoxicated. So their judgment is off. This person could be high or drunk. And Leo, you sitting there minding your business, you the Queen of Cups. And here come the Knight of Swords. And it's like, Leo, the card came out with you. The Knight of Swords came out with you. So it's like this person is attaching themselves to you. So Leo, the Knight of Swords is attached to you. So this could be a family member. Somebody that's assuming something about you. Leo, this family member could probably think you a hoe because they a hoe. Or something like that. Or Leo, if you for Leo, if you marry, this is a situation where it's like Leo, you're married, you and your lover could be in separation. And it's like the Knight of Swords is assuming that you want a divorce. I don't know if the Knight of Swords is gonna go tell your lover that you want a divorce or something. Or the Knight of Swords is like gonna say, Leo, I got your back. When you get ready to do the paperwork, Leo, I got your back. <coughs> But it's like, Leo, you never gave the Knight of Swords a reason to believe that you wanted a divorce. This person is assuming, and I heard a quick assumption, the Knight of Swords. Leo, the Knight of Swords is going to say something to you or something to your lover. But they're assuming so, Leo, this could be a situation where the Knight of Swords tell your lover, you know, Leo ain't take, you and Leo haven't gotten back together. It's been almost two years. So, I think Leo want a divorce. Yeah, Leo want a divorce. Or, Leo, the Knight of Swords going to tell you, you could be sitting there having a conversation with the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords like, shit, you got that red lipstick on. Yeah, you need, yeah, you ready for a divorce. But girl, just let me know when you get ready to um, file them papers. I'll help you.
Because you got on red lipstick. That night of swords, I heard a quick assumption. I'm giving that for an example. That night of swords, uh-uh. What's going on with the nine of pentacles? Clarify the nine of pentacles. Yeah, the seven of cups. Yeah. Leo, somebody could be assuming you're a hoe. Somebody could be assuming, like, they know why you're single. Um, somebody's under an illusion about you being single or independent. The Knight of Swords. Excuse me. Or somebody could be assuming, Leo, that you a hoe. Because you single and abundant, and it's like the Seven of Cups could be somebody that's, um... That have um, options in love. Yeah, somebody could be assuming you're a hoe or something. Or Leo, if you're a man, somebody's assuming you're a player. Or this person swear up and down, they know why you're single. Or they they know, they know feel as though you should be single or something like that. I also see Leo, the Knight of Swords, thinks that Leo, say like the Knight of Swords do uh, heroin. Leo, the Knight of Swords think you do heroin. Yeah. Somebody is making a quick assumption about you, Leo. <laughs> and they think you're like them. <laughs> so this could be drugs. The seven of, seven of Cups could be drugs. So this could be the assumption as well. That Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Knight of Swords think you do drugs. They think you do heroin. Or something. Whatever the Knight of Swords do, Leo... The Knight of Swords think you do what they do. Yeah. Clarify the Queen of Cups with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, the King of Swords. Okay. Here goes somebody with a little bit more sense and rationality. So, Leo, this could be you. Because I think, Leo, when the Knight of Swords say something to you, or you find out that the Knight of Swords says something to your lover, Leo, you might turn into the King of Swords. Yeah. And the King of Swords is straight facts. The King of Swords is going to tell you the straight up truth. This is facts. This is logic. The King of Swords is not a liar for the most part. That King of Swords. Let me see. The King of Swords is this Leo? Yeah, that's you, Leo. Mm hmm. Ten of Pentacles, yup. Yeah, Leo, you going to um, put the Knight of Swords in a place. Leo, your lover could have passed away. Or Leo, you're newly divorced. And it's like, Leo, the Knight of Swords could be accusing you of, um, like, killing your lover to get their money. Because they know you single and abundant. Yeah, that Knight of Swords is accusing you of something. So, Leo, you could be a widow or something, or you're newly divorced. And the Knight of Swords is saying, if your lover passed away, Leo, the Knight of Swords could be saying, you the one who did this to get the insurance money or something. That's the Knight of Swords. And, Leo, you won't have to turn into the King of Swords. Like, what did you say? Excuse me? No, 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 no. Come again? Say that again? No, you come around. You come around and you say that in my face. You tell me repeat that or what did you tell my lover the king of swords the king of swords to say no you come and say that in my face that's why i heard the king of swords say no say it to my face you tell me what you told so and so like something like that yeah because leo whatever the knight of swords is doing they're doing it behind your back so i heard the king of swords is going to say no you say that in my face you tell me that do you repeat that foolishness that you said? Repeat that. Something like that. That king, Leo, you gonna turn into that King of Swords? <clears throat> Leo, the Knight of Swords might also be your lover. And Leo, when you find out something that your lover said to you or said behind your back, Leo, you gonna break up with your lover and you gonna become this person's ex. Because, Leo, your lover could be the Knight of Swords and they underestimated you because you're the Queen of Cups. So, Leo, I don't know if your lover is accusing you. I don't know if your lover might call you a hoe or something. Your lover might accuse you for the last time of cheating on them or something. And, Leo, you're going to be like, okay. Yep, I am the King of Swords. Yep. You got what you asked for. Mm-hmm. Something like that going on. 
Um, I also see too, Leo, that this Knight of Swords can be your ex. Leo, you broke up with the Knight of Swords either the second half of May. This is going to happen. Or you broke up with the Knight of Swords in the past. Leo, I'm picking up when you broke up with the Knight of Swords, you did not too much give the Knight of Swords like a reasoning about why you broke up with them. Or you did not tell the Knight of Swords everything you knew about them. So it's like, Leo, the second half of May, the Knight of Swords could be your ex. And your ex might come to you and say, I know why you broke up with me. Because you a hoe, you this, you that. And Leo, you gonna let the Knight of Swords have it. Leo, you gonna say, no, actually, you was the hoe. I knew the whole time, you was the hoe. Or something like that, yeah. Either way around it, Leo, the Knight of Swords, you're gonna correct the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you gonna put the Knight of Swords in their place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the, I shuffle and the star is here again. Yeah. So I heard, Leo, you're going to be able to clear up something that that Knight of Swords said that wasn't true. You're going to be able to clear up something and heal. Because, Leo, I think, I don't know, maybe you, I don't know, Leo, what's, what was going on with you. I don't know what you was doing. But this Knight of Swords is a karmic, and they was thinking you were karmic. So, Leo, I don't know what the Knight of Swords was going behind your back saying to people. Yeah, they were saying something. And you're going to be able to clear something up the second half of May. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, somebody trying to figure out why you're single or are you single? Um, what you do for work, how you get your money, the seven of cups, somebody trying to figure something out or something. Yeah. And this could also be somebody on drugs or the knight of swords could be single and miserable. And it's like, Leo, the knight of swords wants you to be single and miserable with them. It's like, Leo, you could be newly divorced and the knight of swords is newly divorced. But it's like, Leo, you're kind of like happily divorced. And the Knight of Swords is like divorced and miserable. And it's like, Leo, the Knight of Swords is assuming that you're miserable like them or something. Something like that. Yeah, it's like, Leo, you happy. It's like, you gonna tell that Knight of Swords, don't bring that over here. I ain't never tell you I was miserable. I, I never told you I was miserable. Something. Yeah. What's the tea with the nine of pentacles and the seven of cups? What's the tea with the nine of pentacles? Yeah, a dirty offer. Yep. Leo, if you're a woman, this knight of swords could be a man. And he could be assuming, Leo, you could be a single mother or something. Um, and this man is assuming that you need him because you're a single mother. So this man could be trying to give you a, a dirty offer. This dirty offer could be a situation where, Leo, the Knight of Swords could be married. And it's like, Leo, this man feels as though just because you're a single mother, you would take anything because you're a single mother. So you would take a married man because you got kids and you need help. You would take anything because you a single mother. This man trying to give you a dirty offer. And this could be a third party. Yeah. Yeah, that dirty offer could be a third party situation in love. Or this is drugs. This could be drugs as well. Leo, be careful. Um, yeah. It could be somebody might spike your drugs or spike your drink or something. Or Leo, the Knight of Swords is going straight up. Walk up to you and ask you, you sniff? You do this? You want some? A dirty offer. Yeah. What's the tea with the Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords, King of Swords? No, the Queen of Cups with the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Into you. Yeah. Good, good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Um, 
I'm kind of picking up, Leo, that the Knight of Swords might assume that they know what to do to get you to be into them. Or the Knight of Swords is telling your lover that you like somebody else or you want to be with somebody else. Or Leo, the Knight of Swords is like somebody that got a crush on you. And the Knight of Swords is going to your lover and saying, Leo want me. Leo don't want you. Leo want me. So, Leo, I don't know. Somebody might go to your lover and tell your lover straight up that you want them. And it ain't even true. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, um, Leo, I just heard this might be at like a party or a function. It's like, Leo, you at a party or a function, a gathering or something. And somebody there is drunk. The Knight of Swords is drunk. So it's like, Leo, you and your lover might have to ignore the Knight of Swords the best y'all can. Because the Knight of Swords might walk up to your lover, Leo, whether you a male or female, and tell your lover, Leo want me. Leo is into me. I, I know it to be true. Because this person drunk. Yeah. What's the tea with the King of Swords? Yeah, creeper. Yup, creeper. <coughs> Yeah, Leo, I think somebody going to lie on you or somebody lied on you in the past. And Leo, it might be revealed. Somebody could have lied on you in the past and told your lover that you was cheating on them. Or Leo, somebody told you that your lover was cheating on you and it wasn't true. So Leo, you going to speak some type of truth about somebody creeping around. Yeah, somebody was accusing somebody of creeping. Yeah. So, Leo, this might be a family member. You might lose a family member. Or you done with a family member. Heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah. So, Leo, say like, for example, you a female. And right before you give birth, Leo, you and one of your cousins have a fallout. Like, y'all have a big argument, whatever, whatever. And it's like, Leo... After you have your baby, you're not going to let your cousin see your baby. Because your cousin did something trifling to you or something like that. Yeah, it's like you have this good fortune, a great good fortune, but you miss somebody. But it's like, Leo, you got to stay in your ground. Yeah. You got heartache over what you no longer have. And it could be a friend or a family member that you had to rebuke or something like that. It's like you want to call your cousin or whatever, but it's like, Leo, you like, no, I'm done with my cousin or something like that. Because your cousin, somebody was the Knight of Swords and caused a whole bunch of drama. Yeah. So, Leo, you no longer have um, someone as a friend or you no longer have someone as a close family member or something like that. What's the tea about what Leo no longer has? I'm just curious to know. Because you have good things going on, Leo. Oh. Oh, okay. So, Leo, you no longer have. You know the truth. So, Leo, something is bittersweet. So, it's like, Leo, you no longer have, like, blindfolds on or... You know the facts about a situation, Leo. Or you know who did something. Or who said something. Oh, that's what you no longer... Okay. So, Leo, you have heartache because you know the truth about something. Or, Leo, you had to tell somebody some type of truth that you didn't want to say. Or you had to put somebody in a place, Leo, and you really didn't want to do this to this person. Yeah, the King of Swords will cut you off. The King of Swords going to either cut you out or the King of Swords will cut you off. So I also just heard, Leo, what you no longer have is patience for the, fo for the foolishness. Yeah, you no longer have patience, Leo. And you hurt that you got to rebuke this person. Yeah, so that's what I heard. You no longer have patience, Leo. 
And it's really hurting your feelings, Leo, that you got to put this person in a place or kick this person out your house or um something like that going on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. So that okay. So that's what you no longer have. Patience for the bull crap. Yeah. What's the scoop with the nine of pentacles, seven of cups, and thirty off though? Yeah, catfish. Someone is not who they appear to be. Yeah. Yep. And I think it's the Knight of Swords. Because, Leo, whatever the Knight of Swords is doing to you the second half of May, or this person did this to the did something to you in the past, but you're confronting the Knight of Swords the second half of May. But anyway, whatever the Knight of Swords was doing or saying behind your back, Leo, when you find out, you're going to realize that this person is not who you think they are. Yeah. And this could have been a lover. Don't have to be. Leo, this could have also been a like a lover who you haven't had sex with. Yeah, Leo, you you could have um options in love. You probably do have options in love. But it's like, Leo, you probably haven't even slept with the Knight of Swords. And then I just heard that the Knight of Swords, Leo, because you haven't slept with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords could have been going around telling people that you sick. Or you got an STD, that's why you haven't been having sex with him. But he could have been like your friend or a lover or something. Or she was a friend or a lover. But you didn't have intercourse with this person. But they were saying something behind your back. Yeah, that Knight of Swords could be one of like your lovers. But it's like, Leo, the Knight of Swords is one of many. And just because you have one of many, that do not mean that you're having sex with. Just, just because somebody likes someone, that don't mean you're having sex with them. Yeah. It's like, Leo, if you're a female, you can have seven dudes calling your phone. And probably only sleeping with one of them. Yeah. Someone is not who they appear to be, Leo. What's the school with the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and um, into you? What's the school with this? Seeing through the fog, your vision is getting clearer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Leo, you gonna realize something the second half of May. Something that the Knight of Swords is doing behind your back. You gonna realize it, Leo, and you gonna um confront the Knight of Swords. Yep. Your vision is getting clearer. So it's like Leo, you see exactly what the Knight of Swords is doing. You like, oh, okay, I see what the Knight of Swords is doing. Some. Yeah. What's the scoop with the King of Swords with Creeper? Yeah, upgrade. Your life is about to have an upgrade. Yeah. Or Leo, the Knight of Swords is a lover that thought you would never leave them. Leo, whether you a male or female, the Knight of Swords was going around telling people shit. Leo ain't going nowhere. Leo ain't leaving me. Yeah, that Knight of Swords. Or Leo, if you a woman, the Knight of Swords could have been telling people that he pimping you or something. <laughs> yeah, Leo, your lover um immature. He could I heard a wannabe. The Knight of Swords is a wannabe. And Leo, your lover is gonna regret. Your lover could have had people thinking that he pimping you, um, Leo. And it's not true. So Leo, when you find that, that rumor out, when you find this out, you might break up with your ex. And Spirit is saying when you become the King of Swords, your life is about to have an upgrade because you broke up with that Knight of Swords. Yeah, I heard a wannabe with the Knight of Swords. I just heard it. So, Leo, you a female, and this man was going, this was your lover, the Knight of Swords. And he was fronting for his homeboys, talking about he be pimping you and whatever he was saying he be doing. Yeah. 
Something this man was saying that he gonna regret, Leo. This man gonna regret this. Because you're going to become this man X when you find out. <clears throat> Leo, if the Knight of Swords is not your lover or soon to be X, when you get in the Knight of Swords energy, you speaking your truth. Leo, you're going to clear up some type of drama that the Knight of Swords was causing in your life and you're going to get an upgrade. Yeah, you're going to clear up some type of drama. Some type of lie, whatever this is the Knight of Swords was doing. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have rumors. Yeah, so the Knight of Swords was spreading rumors. There are rumors being spread, yeah. Yeah. So, Leo, that's what's going on for you. The second half of May. Um, it, Leo, it's not really a big deal. I'm picking up, this is like one incident. This is one incident. It's like a one hit a quitter. It's like, Leo, in the midst of, like, all your goodness, your happiness, you're going to have to stop for a second and put the Knight of Swords in their place. Rebuke the Knight of Swords. And it's like, Leo, then you're going to go on with your happiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is not going to take all night, all year. Uh-uh. Leo, you might give that Knight of Swords 5, 10, maybe um, a couple of hours of your time to solve this issue yeah this ain't taking up your time like that uh leo yeah you're gonna say what you gotta say to the knight of swords and then you're gonna keep it moving yeah so yeah leo it could have also been some type of truth that you knew that you didn't want to you could have been in denial and it's like the Knight of Swords going to do something the second half of May. And it's like, Leo, you're going to be like, nah, I got to confront the Knight of Swords. I have to. So, again, like I said, heartache over what you no longer have. I heard patience. And I heard blindfolders. So, you no longer have blindfolders on Leo. Or you no longer have patience for whatever the Knight of Swords is doing. It's like spreading rumors. Yeah. 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 So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment. Let me see something. Let me see. Um, what is Leo's issue with the Knight of Swords? Let me just put an issue out here. What's Leo's issue with the Knight of Swords? Guilty conscience. Yeah. Yep. Accuses you of cheating and hiding secrets due to their own guilty conscience. Yeah. So, Leo, you basically, to a certain extent, wanted to, the Knight of Swords to leave you alone. But the Knight of Swords keep poking and poking and poking. So, Leo, you're going to turn to the King of Swords. Your issue with the, the Knight of Swords, Leo, is that for some of y'all, y'all know exactly why the Knight of Swords is, like, spreading rumors about you. You're aware of what the Knight of Swords is doing. And, Leo, you know that the Knight of Swords is lying on you. But you haven't too much said nothing. So your issue with the Knight of Swords is that they have a guilty conscience. And you want the Knight, the Knight of Swords to shut up and just let it go. Shut up and just let it go. You know you was cheating on me. Stop going around telling people I was cheating on you. When you know you was cheating on me. Knight of Swords, I haven't said nothing. But now I'm about to confront you. Because I know you got a guilty conscience. Yeah, so that's your issue with the Knight of Swords. What's the Knight of Swords issue with Leo? What is the Knight of Swords issue with Leo? Okay. Selfish. So, Leo, the Knight of Swords feels as though you're selfish. You're all about your own pleasure. So, that's the Knight of Swords issue with you. They feel as though you're selfish. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's their issue with you. Yeah. <clears throat> Leo, I'm also picking up. You deserve to be selfish. This Knight of Swords don't need no more of your time. And you're being selfish with your, with your time, Leo. The Knight of Swords don't deserve no more of your time. They don't deserve to be in your energy, your space. Like I said, Leo, if you give birth to a newborn baby, that Knight of Swords cannot come up to the hospital and see your baby. When you go home, Leo, the Knight of Swords is not welcome at your home. Yeah. Yeah, you're being selfish with your time. 
Yep. So, Leo, I don't know. That could be your child's father as well. I don't know. And then high expectations, it keep coming out. It wanted to come out. So, somebody got an issue with somebody because somebody had high expectations. Meticulous and picky as F. So this was an issue. Leo, this was your issue or the Knight of Swords issue. This is somebody's issue. Somebody feel as though somebody had high expectations. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to end it. So um, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Leo, enjoy the remainder of um, May. And thank you.